Okay, we're going to do a little maintenance on a VW Rabbit blower motor. Uh, to get at the blower motor, we have to remove this piece of sound deadening foam by removing these two plastic screws by hand. Alright, remove the blower motor from the wiring harness. To remove the blower motor itself, we're just going to gently pull on this tab and twist counterclockwise. It will fall right out. So chances are the reason you're doing this maintenance is your blower motor is making some noise or not working properly. So once you get it removed, give it a few spins, take note of how much resistance there is there. The blower motor housing is held on by three rubber tabs. You're just going to use a standard screwdriver to press in those tabs, pull up gently on that housing, and then repeat for the rest of the tabs until the housing can be removed. So in my case, there was a significant amount of resistance when I spin this blower motor. Um, VW released a technical service bulletin in February 2011 basically saying that snow can get inside the system, cause corrosion. That's what you see here. These bearings just get all gacked up to the point where the blower motor just doesn't function properly. So here I'm just using carb cleaner to clean out the motor. I'll, I'll give the blower motor a few twists and I can already feel it freeing up. Um, I'll follow up with some lube. I've got some WD-40 that'll go on here in a second. And you don't want your car to smell like car cleaner and WD-40, so use a shop vac or a blower to uh, get that thing nice and aired out before you reinstall it. To make the blower motor housing reinstall easier, I'm just putting a little dab of dish soap on each of the three rubber tabs. And again, use a standard screwdriver, this time in reverse, to sort of pull up on each rubber tab until it clips into place. So this blower motor is spinning significantly more freely now, but I'm not done. Uh, you guys can repeat this process as many times as you want with the whole cleaning, lubing, airing out, clean, lube, air out, until you get it moving as freely as, as you're comfortable with. reinstall the blower motor in reverse order. Now I speed up the film here so it looks easy but guys take your time don't force it you have to sort of shimmy it around a bit till it finds its way in and you don't want to apply too much pressure you know lest you break the blower motor. Reattach the wiring harness. Reinstall the sound deadening panel by uh, hand tightening the fasteners and give your refurbished motor a test. And guys, one of the most common side effects of having one of these gummed up blower motors is that your blower motor resistor will fail. Um, if that's the case where you have just your high speed working, be sure to check out my other video that shows you how to uh, repair that resistor for $2.